This is the rectangle method for constructing a hyperbola of revolution. We're given the base from this. You can also see that we have the throat circle. This is looking straight down on top of the hyperbola of revolution. We're given the center of the hyperboloid, and from there we can project up the heights to the elevation. So we have the height of the hyperbola of revolution in the elevation. We can project up to find the two vertices, which are the same width as the throat circle. We mark down these as V1 and V2, and these are the vertices of our curves. Simply what we do is we divide up this quadrant here to construct one portion of the curve. Simply what we do is we divide up this line into equal number of parts as you can see we also divide up this quadrant into the same equal number of parts what we do is we join each one of those divisions back to V1 and each one of these divisions back to V2 where those points cross or a point on our hyperboloid or on our curve as we can see the gradual pro uh, progression of each of these divisions will give us four points on our high part of revolution. We can we we can repeat this for each other quadrant or rectangle of the high part of revolution. We can see that the curve is drawn in, so all we do is simply join up each of the dots in this quadrant. We repeat the process for the top and for the other two the other uh, two quadrants as well and we have to uh, draw in our hyperbola revolution. That is the rectangle method.